Hello everyone, welcome to my craft room here in Spain. I've been playing around with a kit from Antonio Makes called Pretty in Pink and I've made these bookmarks and I got this idea from Corrie Damon at um, you, using your scraps and she made either bookmarks or belly bands and she put a little journal pad on each one and I just thought that was a perfect idea for some little Christmas gifts um, or you could even sell them but I don't really sell my stuff only journals that um, go to charity so I had already made these tassels a while ago so I had quite a few hanging round and so I got to work and the books come out of the slot they're all the same and then they just you could replace them once you've used them all all the papers and they just slide back in which I just thought was an absolutely wonderful idea and if you're an avid reader like I am you're always using bookmarks so I was really pleased with how these turn out so I thought I would bring you along and just show you how I did them and I should be making more of them as well so I have some bits ready let me just get some bits out here that I've done and you need a piece of card for the bookmark which measures six centimeters mine is by eight and a quarter that's not right is it six centimeters by 21 centimeters which is two two and three eighths inches by eight and a quarter and then obviously you cut the paper a little bit smaller which I've just done I've cut up one of the sheets that Antonio provides in the kit uh, you get beautiful papers I'll put links below and don't forget that you will get a 10% discount if you use the code below as well in Antonio's shop and you get lots of ephemera and pockets and beautiful butterflies. Right, so let's get on with making these and also it's a great way of using your scraps of paper up because I have lots of these scraps from when I'm making card inserts. So it's a great way to use those up. So let's get on with it now and see. Yeah, see where we end up. Let me just put that to one side. So I like to round the corners on my most things I make. So I just use the middle size and do the same on the paper. And I like to ink them all as well. And I've already got some ink on these daubers because the, some of this ink is pigment ink so it stays wetter for longer. So once it's on the dauber it uh, seems to stay there for quite a while. very rough and quick with this one right use some glue I'm on collal glue at the moment which is good and it does stay wet for quite a while which can either be a plus or a minus and um, if I'm making boxes I don't like to use this glue because I need something on boxes that grips a bit quicker like this will give you lots of wiggle room slide about and get in the right place then you need to get your craft knife and a, a metal ruler and decide which is the top which I'll put the right in that way so you need to make a cut to slide your booklet in so I line at the edge of my bookmark with the straight line on my pad 
and that line there and then obviously not straight to the edge but you need it wide enough this will determine how wide you want your little booklet so make sure that it's yeah it's free there so I'll measure that slot which is about I'll do it around four and a half centimeters so I can use that piece of paper on it and I need a piece of card oops stuff going on the floor so I'll use this card and fold it in half so I'll just cut a strip at about four and a half centimeters or I'll make sure it, it slides in before I cut all the papers see it's a little bit tight let's just try and cut that a fraction more don't want to do it too far because obviously you don't want to get it too near the edge yeah that'll slide in okay so I'll round the edges on this as the corners on this as well just fold that in half so that will slide in there so I'll use the smallest corner on this one just makes it a little bit easier to slide it into the slot and then I'll use this piece of paper as decoration so that measures four and a half so I want to cut my paper at four and it's fourteen and a half so I need to cut my paper at four and fourteen and a half then that should fit nicely let's cut the plain bit off there that should fit and I'll round the corners on this as well And I'll quickly ink them. It's a bit marked that paper. I'll use this as the front. And then you need to decide how you're going to fix the papers into the little booklet. You can either staple them in if the papers are long enough or they could all actually be stapled in flat as well right so we need to cut the papers down to four centimeters as well wide that is I'll just do that on my trusty guillotine and make sure they fit yeah and these as well These would look nice all done with Christmas. Um, if you've got any Christmas kits, you could use them as stocking fillers as well. So all these papers are single, except for this one, which is a fold over. So what I'm going to do is staple them flat. I'll just tell you what I did. This one, I punched two holes and put a ribbon through and that held the papers in this one I stapled right through because they were all long pieces of paper so what I'm going to do with this one is a couple that are slightly too long there so I'm just going to trim them off and I don't think my stapler will go right through them I was going to put a staple right at the top. Let me just see. It may be. So I can just. Hmm. I need to treat myself to a long armed uh, stapler. In fact, that was the front, wasn't it? And that was the back. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fold this just to get it under the arm of the stapler because it won't matter if it's got a crease in it because it'll be getting hidden by, see that's not gone through. When you just had a feeling that it wouldn't work, I need a longer stapler. Right, let's use the... 
let's glue the paper on first and then we'll staple right through the whole lot like I did the first one I showed you with two two grommets and ribbon I think will be the safest bet And I'm going to put that in and then down and I'll just hold it with a clip. I'll put two little pen marks where I want it, the holes to go. And I'll just this one, excuse the noise if this Ooh. Then I need to set the grommet. I got these smaller grommets from my craft, local craft shop and they, they work perfectly. I'll get three out because I want one for the bookmark itself as well. So I find it easier if I turn the grommet upside down and do it that way. Yeah, they are only thin though, I mean from front to back, so you do have to, you can't have too many papers, otherwise it wouldn't fold at the back and hold. And while I've got this out, I'll just put the hole in here as well, ready for the tassel. You can have it in any corner, it doesn't really make any difference. And set that one as well. So we need some ribbon and I've got this nice satin thin ribbon I got from the craft shop. She sells it in a bundle for one or two euros, not very much. Let's just get rid of that bulldog clip. I'll just tie it in a knot and then in a bow. Being satin ribbon it does tend to slip a little bit when you're trying to tie it in a nice tight knot but the ribbon's more for decoration to be honest than actual purpose let's just cut the end off there and then tighten it up a bit do just chop the ends off and then that will slot in little slit we made with the knife perfect and then you can make your little notes on there when you're in bed reading or something <laughs> some ideas come to your heads in the most strange places but there you go that's that then I've got a tassel ready here and that can just feed through in fact I need to do it the other way then we've got the knot at the front let's just tie that put it in between and then tie the knot and then that will keep the tassel at the front of the bookmark some of them I've put a dangle charm on as well so pull that tight and chop it so you've got your little dangle tassel there and then let's find a nice butterfly from the kit it's a smallish one we don't want one that's too big and then the sort of raindrop things my friend was one of my craft ladies from the craft club she was getting rid of a load of her craft stuff and I pulled out these um, sort of water drops let me just show you there's pink and there's blue 
so I'll just put three of those on in the pink ones let's get some finer glue just for a bit of added decoration there's one and two and three let those settle it's not sitting very straight is it there we go so I think they make really nice gifts and I'm going to make some more I just need to make some more pink tassels because the rest of my tassels are blue which I did use a blue and grey one on there so tell me what you think in the comments and don't forget if you do go on over to Antonio's shop which the link will be in the description box below don't forget to use the code WENDY10 and you will get 10% off any purchase that you make so thanks for joining me today I hope you've enjoyed that little uh, tutorial and there's lots of tutorials about for making tassels as well um, I just like making these, it's something I can do at night while I'm sat watching telly. Okay, I shall see you next time. Bye.